Midwest Keto Mom on my way to Walmart for my first Keto Walmart grocery haul. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Welcome back to Midwest Keto Mom. It's Suzanne here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So we, um, at Walmart today, on our first keto run, we spent $118.92. than I thought. It took a little bit more planning and I had to make sure I read all the labels on the uh, ingredients and things to make sure that I was looking for grass fed, organic, things like that and still I have to be able to feed a family. So the first thing I found was this organic free range eggs. I don't normally get organic free range eggs. I normally get the 93 cents things. These were a little bit more expensive but um, I was watching some of the other keto channels and pretty much organic free range was the way to go because you get the best nutrition. They're brown eggs. And I think when we cook them this week, I'll show you guys a little bit later when I cook them, so that um, I've heard that the yellows are more yellow and it's got more nutrients according to Keto Connect channel. So we'll try that. Then I got fried pork skins for snacks. The kids hate these, but that's okay because mom doesn't, I like them. They've only got on the old lady glasses here they've got fried pork skins and salt so those are the only two ingredients and I thought that um, I should look for that so I know like everybody else I'm really bad about eating too much I love nuts so I bought some nuts um, some macadamias walnuts that kind of thing and little snack size bags so whenever I get home I'm gonna measure them out I'm gonna use my little scale and measure them out and put them in the Ziploc bags that way I can take them to work as a quick snack so I also got ground turkey. I normally get the cheap ground turkey, it's like two bucks or something like that. This ground turkey is no antibiotics, no added hormones. They were fed a vegetarian diet. So hopefully I can add a little bit of fat maybe to it whenever I make our dinners. I will add maybe a little butter or something like that to increase the fats for the keto. So this is organic grass-fed ground beef. I have to give confession here. We actually use this at home already. It makes really good hamburgers. So I've already I've already started using that um, just because I like the flavor. We went to Philadelphia cream cheese instead of the generic Walmart cream cheese. Um, it's got less ingredients than the Walmart cream cheese. The Walmart cream cheese I think had some different things that were not uh, keto and it also had carbs in it. This has less than one gram of carb. It's also got 10 grams of fat and two grams of protein. So from what I've heard, this actually fits the keto uh, mac micro, macros, pardon me. <laughs> I'll get that term eventually. This fits the keto macros better than the generic version. And finally, I got a boneless pork sirloin roast. I know pork doesn't have the fat nowadays. Um, just the way they raise pork, it doesn't have the fat for the keto profiles. So I've got some other ingredients to add to it, so you'll have to stay tuned later, but later this week and to watch the roast that I'm going to make with this. So I think it's uh, called Mississippi Pot Roast or something like that. My kids don't eat beef roast. They only eat pork roast, so we had to change that up. I'm binging on some other YouTubers that do the keto thing. I really am kind of uh, the Keto Connect couple, Mega and Matt. I'm kind of addicted to their channel, um, and they really recommend these Duke's Shorty Sausages. So I thought we'd give them a try. Um, they have 130 calories for two links, 11 grams of fat, less than one gram of carb, and seven grams of protein. So I read the ingredients. The ingredients aren't the greatest, but they're not the worst in the world either. So I'm gonna try these for snacks. I'm gonna use my little snack bags and add them in there so I can take these to work for snacks. So I do have a couple of teenagers, and you know teenagers are a bit picky. So I got them some sweets that we can all three eat. Um, I'm gonna mix unsweetened coconut flakes, and you'll just throw the unsweetened ones um, unsweetened chocolate, the baker's chocolate, and I'm going to mix some uh, Zevia or xylitol, something like that, that I already have in the cupboard at home. And I'm going to mix those, and we're going to make like little candies out of them. We're going to try that too. So we'll be doing that. We'll be posting that a little bit later this week. I got broccoli florets. We can either eat those raws dipped in guac. Um, I got little containers of guac. We're also going to uh, cook that, cook that up with some butter. I've got Simply Steamed Brussels Sprouts from Green Giant. The kids don't like Brussels Sprouts, but they're one of my faves. Baby Arugula and Baby Spinach. 
tastes good. It's going to be hard for me to give up fruit, but I'm not really giving up fruit. I'm giving up a healthier lifestyle. So we're going to get the berry medley. So that way I have something a little sweet. And finally, I got several containers of this frozen, frozen broccoli. It's like 92 cents or a dollar, something like that, a container. So I got some broccoli and some cauliflower, just so we got some more veggies. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing what we bought at Walmart today on, on my first keto haul. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.